board. All right, everyone, we are solving a quadratic equation right now, and we will be solving quadratic style equations of trigonometry in this lesson coming up, lesson 14. So we need to make sure we remember how to solve this. So we reviewed how to solve, how to factor an expression. This over here is an equation because it has an equal sign. When you're solving any type of polynomial style equation, all polynomials are, are equations that have our variable x raised to whole number exponents, which could be, this has a whole number exponent of zero, technically x to the zero, x to the one, x to the two, we could have third, fourth, no negative exponents and no fraction or decimal exponents. Those are polynomials. We solve these by getting everything in your equation onto one side of your equal sign. And that means that we will have our happy zero on the other side. I always draw my zero with big nose over here. Then you also try your best. I like to make sure that my leading term or my leading coefficient really, I guess, my leading coefficient is positive. I know a lot of people do try to factor and they're like, it's fine, I'll factor with a negative leading coefficient. But in the previous example that we did, um, we talked about that negative going underneath for the greatest common factor, blah, blah, blah. And if people don't really remember when the leading term is negative to make that number that we factor out negative, it messes up the whole problem. To avoid it, just make sure you make that positive. If it's negative, then you could just go in the next line and change the sign of everything. Zero stays zero. Now I have a quadratic trinomial and I'm going to factor because I have F, ML, which we just went over, first, middle, last, and I'm going to use AC method. A times C is two times negative nine, which is negative 18. Then I make my list of factors, one and 18, two and nine, three, and six, and that's the end of my list. Bottom of the list, B for but, but what? I need these numbers to add to give me positive three. So that being said, which pair of factors can I use to split up my middle term that will multiply to give me a negative 18? We went over those positive negative rules. So one has to be positive and one has to be negative, but I needed to add to be positive and that means the bigger number has to be positive. I hope that makes sense, the bigger absolute value. So what am I gonna use to make the oi, oi, from my m? Right now it's fml, that's like bad situation. If it's just oi, that's not so bad of a situation. So like, you know, even in the chat, if Samira, Zayden, Haley, Oliver, uh, Dulce, Shawnee, if you guys wanna participate in the chat, that'd be great. Go ahead, otherwise at the moment, go ahead, Mason. What can we use? Negative three and six. And positive six, good. From here, two x squared minus three x plus six x minus nine. All right, minus nine over there. Now I'm going to question Adara, or you wanna help with the next step? Oh, because I just saw you raise your hand just now, so I didn't know what, which way you wanted. Yeah, it was the other one, and I was just writing down what you're writing down, so I didn't have time to do that. Oh, okay. That's all good. Um, so if you want to tell me the greatest common factor, if anybody wants to tell me what's the GCF here, what's the GCF here, and that thing is going to go out in front. So go ahead, Haley. What's the greatest common factor right over here? X. Good. It's just the X. It's all they have in common. How about over here, 6X minus 9? What is my greatest common factor over there? Maybe Jazz, Jahida, uh, who else have I? Matt, what do we got? What do we got? Go ahead, Shani. Um, um, three. Positive three, because this is plus, so I'm gonna put plus there. X will come out front, plus three will come out front. Don't forget that plus sign, and don't lose your equal zero. Wrapping it up quickly over here. We reduce with the pretzel because we have a plus or minus sign in the numerator. If they don't both reduce to the same thing, we're sad because we either messed up or it's not factorable. What do both pretzels reduce to? Can anyone shout that out at me? You could do it if you want, Haley, or if anyone else wants to shout out at the same time, go ahead. Jahida, whoever. Um, X first. Mm, help her out. Was she? 
2x? Yeah, 2x, because the x reduces, but the 2 stays. So like from the x squared, we lose an x. 2x, same with the 6 and 3, we get a 2x. And then what? Minus 3. Yes, minus 3. What is my greatest common factor? Anybody? 2x minus 3. Yep, that comes out front. 2x minus 3. What's left? Inside, if I pull the 2x minus 3 out in front. What is left inside? X plus three. Beautiful, X plus three. Don't lose your equal zero. Now, this next part, when we set each of these little linear factors, this is our good step over here. We set them equal to zero, <clears throat> one at a time. This is called the zero product property. This only works when it's equal to zero. It's not the 10 product property. If they both equal 10, 10, then that, product equals 100. It makes no sense. Ah! Sorry, my phone, computer, spam call. All right, so 2x minus 3, x plus 3. So we solve each of these, add 3 to both sides. x equals 3 over 2. Leave it as a fraction. Fractions are our friends, guys. And then bring this, x equals negative 3. So we get that solution, negative 3. What's 3 over 2 as a decimal? Don't write it necessarily, but like in your brain. What is 3 over 2 as a decimal? Maybe Jehida or Jonah or Justin, my J class over here. 1.5. Jasmine. 1 1.5, good. We do weird things, guys, when we are doing these numbers over 2. Remember, over 2 means you're dividing by 2. Dividing by 2 means you're half of something. Half of every odd number ends with 0.5. I don't think people know that. Half of every odd number as a decimal will end with 0.5. Half of three is 1.5, half of five is 2.5, and so on. So keep that in mind, that's important. But these right here are the answers, the directions asked us to solve. If it said factor, you would not have the equal sign. You would have something like this, and your problem would end with this over here, okay? If your problem said FOIL or expand, you would start with this and end with this. So I will post this video as well. I hope you understood this. If you are needing more support with this, SOS, send help, put a thumbs down. If you're like, I think I finally understand something, give it a thumbs up. And like I said, I won't be but her butt her over the thumbs down, but otherwise I hope it was helpful, okay? So just gonna end this recording for you guys now.